Hello, this is Janet16, and I'm here today to do a different kind of video. And this video will be to show you how to get started with model railways. So, I've been doing model railways now for nearly 17 years, hard to believe. However, I didn't really take it serious until, I don't know, the um, 2000s, 2002, 2003. Um, and that's when I started buying loads of stuff and started buying all the wagons and that. Uh, originally it was just bought for me for Christmas and bits and bobs. Every Christmas like a new engine or a new wagon and that. And then in the 2000s I started buying my own stuff, my own wagons, buildings. I had my own model railway. Because originally I just had a shed with a track going around. No buildings or nothing. Um, it was just to run the train really. So. The first thing you will need to build a model railway is a train set. Now, this is one that hauled me down a couple of years back for the London Olympics. And I'm using this one because this is the only one I can actually get my hands on at the moment. Because all the others are packed away. Um, I recently got this one out to do some pictures at the club. Um, so this is what your basic train set is going to be. Prices range right from, I would say, if you want to buy brand new from a shop, um, which you probably are going to, and it probably, now if there's parents who's buying for a young kid or their child, you're probably looking at Toys R Us. They would probably buy it for Toys R Us or other toy stores like that, like Smith's or Hamley's. Um, but that they, they might go to a model shop they might buy it from a model shop in which case they would have a better selection there'd be more on offer because I think Toys R Us over the years they've only ever done like three different train sets and Flying Scotsman is always one of them um, so yeah you're gonna start with a train set like this and this is a basic set this comes with obviously it's a javelin uh, new Hitachi train However, you can get steam engines, diesels, and they usually come with a couple of wagons, like four wagons. Or you can get, um, like I said, Flying Scotsman, which comes with three coaches or two coaches. They did used to come with four, but I don't think they do that anymore. Um, and you get a basic track layout, which will be an oval with a couple of straights and a siding, uh, which you do with this one. You get a controller as well. However, some smaller layouts the cheaper ones like you could probably get one for about 50 pounds comes with a little tank engine three wagons and that will just be a basic oval um which if you have the siding it gives you a little bit more to play with when you first get started now if you choose to take it serious if you want to extend your collection because a lot of kids probably have this forget about it and it's probably put away and end up on eBay a couple of years later or a boot sale. And that does happen. Uh, but but if the kid or a grown up person wants to take it serious and they decide I'm going to build a model railway, I want to do it properly, then you'll want to buy accessories and stuff to add to this. So you can buy track. Any model shop will do track. I don't think Toys R Us and that do. However, you can still buy track from Hobby Craft. Um, but one of the main things you probably do want to buy when you buy your model railway is the catalogue. So this is the Ormby catalogue. Now that you could buy from any model shop, I'm sure. And you can also buy from WH Smith and other, other bookstores. Um, this year they started doing that, which is quite nice, because I could buy this from my local uh, news agents, which is just down the road. And they've never done the catalogue, so I was really pleased with that. So yeah, if you buy this catalogue, the main thing for buying it is it's up to date. So make sure you buy an up to date one, 2017. It doesn't have to be up to date because a lot of the track and that and the buildings you probably still get, um, which we'll go on to in a second. But anyway, there you go. You've got your train sets. Um, what else we got? You've got your locomotives you can buy. Diesel locomotives. 
depending on what you're doing. Coaches, more coaches. Uh, wagons, of course, you've got to have your wagons. Um, this is railroad, so this is a cheaper range. This is actually ideal for the younger audience of model railways, kids and that, because these do not have so much detail and they can't really break that easy. Railroad is ideal for kids and a lot of these are DC, in fact all of these are DCC ready actually, which we'll go on to in a second. And cheaper coaches and then you've got your track packs you can buy to extend and these are all made to go with this layout or any other model railway from Hornby you buy. Um, so yeah, that's basically one of the things you will need. I recommend you buy when you buy your model railway. And now, say you've done that, and you've bought the catalog and you've bought loads of track packs, you're probably going to come on to wanting to buy another locomotive or maybe a wagon. Now, as for locomotives, I mean, I've, I know people who've gone into model shops, they went bought a model railway like a Hornby layout, bought two locos, I bought several coaches just to get started. Um, for instance, it de it depends. I mean, a lot of younger people would probably not care what they done with their railway. They would just have loads of them, so they won't base the model railway on a certain era. They'll probably just buy whatever stock they can, buy any train. So it don't matter if they have diesel or steam, they're going to have whatever they want running on their layout. So, for instance, they could go out and buy uh, 42 XX by Hornby in BR uh, early, which I bought this one a couple of weeks ago. Months, actually. Or, depending on what you want to buy, you could go out and buy a 67 in EWS, which I bought a couple of weeks ago. Let's put it in dump now. Let's make sure he's in shot. Now, depending on the age of the person you are buying for, um, say it's a kid that's a lot younger and he's having it for Christmas, the parents might want to buy in the Thomas range so you can get the same train sets but just with the Thomas trains and that and then you might want to buy a Thomas locomotive in which case this is Henry number I should know that really <laughs> um, Henry is number five number three sorry I should know that I'm gonna get loads of stick now my friends I don't know that <laughs> so you could buy those and these are all Hornby locomotives now Hornby's not the only manufacturer out there there are other manufacturers You've got Dapol, Halgen, uh, Oxford models will actually bring their own train range in and they are really impressive. Um, but next to Hornby, the main one is Backman. And Backman do everything you see here. They do the trains, they do the train sets, they do the wagons, the coaches. They do the locomotives here, which that's a 56XX, which I bought a couple of years ago now about two years ago and they also do the catalogue uh, this is an old one but like I said I buy the old ones as well I've, I keep them I should say and it's because I like seeing what stocks in there and I keep my eyes open for it so like they do the G scale as well I should say Backman do but these locos then some of these you can't buy anymore but they do pop up at shows and it's really nice so there's that so you can get a batman catalog as well so next you're probably looking at building a model railway because it's okay to set up an electric train set like that you can set that up anywhere um even outside on a nice day like it's going to be today it's actually 33 yesterday and it's meant to be in the first today which i'm not looking forward to going off family to eat so let me just get the, there we go so if you're building a model railway the things i recommend you do 
and which has helped me over the years. Number one, you must go and buy some Model Railway magazines. Now this is the Ormby magazine. Now I've had these for about four years now, I think, I think since they started, something like that. And they're really good. And the idea of buying these magazines is you can learn a lot about building a model railway. Um, so I literally buy these. I read the articles sometimes. I mean, I, I very rarely do, but it tells you all the new stock that's being being released and the progress of them. Shops, like this is Gage Master, which do all your power supplies mainly. And then layouts. I mean, look at that. That's something I want to do in the future, some of that big. I mean, I'm limited on space and that, but I want to recreate the BR as big as I can, really. So, and then you got uh, stuff about electrics and everything. And then look at that little. So, that's that's a collection. Now, sorry, better pause that. And you can also get. We got the Ormby catalog uh, magazine. You can also get BRM. Now BRM is my preferred favorite, just because you get a DVD every month with this showing off model railways, and they show off tips and tricks and that you can do with model railways. And it's all the same really. It's all the same inside. You got your layouts, stock, um, how to build a shelf, <laughs> which is quite nice more layouts so yeah they're basically the same just different names um, but no I do prefer the BRM um, so yeah that's a great way to start off with model railways because you can learn a lot for the magazines also I recommend going to train shows um, one second you can go to train shows exhibitions they are more or less on every week which is good and they are all over the country all over the UK and America Europe they all have train shows model railway exhibitions one of the other things I would recommend if you've got a computer is go on to YouTube and I'm not sure why that's going to come up but that's on my iPad but if you go on YouTube type in model railways there's tons and tons millions of videos showing you model railways so if you can't get to an exhibition, if you can't go to a show, what I recommend you do is go on YouTube and you can find absolutely everything on there what you would see at a model show anyway, because a lot of people go there and film it all. Lastly, accessories. So again, add it to your collection. You can, like I said, you can buy wagons, now Hornby and Backman, have some great wagons i personally recommend hornby and oxford uh, models because backman's prices are quite expensive and I, i'm just not happy paying it no more for backman stock but one of the bonuses of going to a model railway exhibition is you can um you get traders there who are selling old stuff and this goes back to looking at the magazine, old catalogues and other locals you would have want more have passed on not doing any and not making them anymore so at these shows you can get um, the old locals wagons and they're usually a lot cheaper I mean I, I buy wagons all the time from shows and I, a backman van just a normal goods van would cost you £15 plus now from backman and I, when I go to shows, I buy the old ones, which is exactly the same, just different boxing. Um, and I buy them for like seven pound a piece, so it's half price, and you can go wrong really. Also, other things you can add to your layout from, let's say, Oxford models, is vehicles. Now, I've bought hundreds of these. Well, not Oxford models, but I've bought hundreds of. I think it was caramel cars they used to make and Cramel or something like that but now lots of models do a great selection of modern and vintage vehicles so that's something to look at 
and also buildings. Now Hornby do scale dale range, which do a range of buildings. This is just a little ticket office, a waiting room, sorry. But they do some great buildings and I've bought, I don't know, 50 of the last couple of weeks. Um, sorry, years. Last three years I bought about 50 of them. They are good, they are got, they've got a bit expensive, which in that case, if you don't want to pay too much for them, and it's not going outdoors, you can always buy Metcalf kits, which are paper card kits. Now, take some building, but they're usually quite easy, and you can build some nice buildings out of them. I built an entire industrial unit. But so yeah, you can buy a lot of scale dale buildings. Sorry for pause, the dog was barking. You can buy a lot of scale dale buildings. Um, Backman do scene craft, and then you can obviously get the Metcalf kits as well. Um, and you can also buy people. These are scene craft people. Hornby do people as well, but Backman really took the lead with people at the moment they've done um several several kits now and they're really good so that's it for building a model railway i hope i've covered everything um i wasn't i'm not gonna go into dcc and that i'm gonna keep that for another video because that's something i'm doing at the moment but thanks for watching and i will be back again with more on dcc and everything so thanks for watching hope this helps everyone and bye for now.